Hey everybody, Cara here from Perspective-Based Parenting. And today I want to talk about a linguistic distinction, attention versus interaction. Um, but before I do, I want to tell you a little bit more about myself because I have lots of different educational backgrounds. And one of them is that I'm a trained teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing. And I spent years also becoming um, a certified interpreter. And part of being an interpreter is relaying a message from one language into another. It's very linguistic. And there's nothing word for word about it. It's a meaning-based translation. That's what I want you to think about in the back of your mind as we're talking today. All right, so attention. Kids love attention, right? We hear this all the time, chatting with moms and dads out in the world, and they're talking about their infant, and they're talking about their toddlers and their preschoolers saying, oh my gosh, they just love attention. If I don't give them attention, they get upset. They cry for attention. They're so needy. Well, I'd like to like do a little mindset shift and reframe that a bit today, okay? Kids are looking for a specific type of attention. Interacting, interaction. If there's a little girl and she's Look at me, 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 mommy, look at me, daddy, look at me, look at me. And you look at her and you say, I see you. Oh, good, honey. Yep, I see you. That is not an interaction. That is a reaction. What is she really trying to say? What is the meaning behind her request? Let's try it again. Little girl. Look at me. Look at me, mommy. Look at me, daddy. Look at me. Look at me. Wow. I see you jumping really high. You're becoming quite a good jumper. What's the difference? Not time. It didn't take you any more time to have that interaction. The difference is the meaning behind your words. The intentional choosing of what you said. You didn't go over there, you didn't get down, you didn't jump with her, you didn't do any of these other things except recognize that she wanted you to notice and verbalize what she was doing. And she's good. Okay. Mommy really saw me. She really noticed what I was doing. This is what she's thinking. They're not necessarily looking for you to stop what you're doing and swivel into their world. They just want to know that they're being noticed. And the best way to do that is to narrate what you see. All right, I hope that got your mind churning a little bit in the mindset mama world, in the mindset papa world. Um, and just take it with you. And next time your baby is crying or your toddler is whining, notice. Instead of reacting, notice. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.